I am Anil Kumar and here are questions from quiz 6.1, 6.2 trigonometry advanced functions. Question 3a. Determine the exact value of the following trigonometric expression. Use special triangles. Sine of 5 pi by 3 minus cos 7 pi by 4 minus cot 11 pi by 6. Now when you have to find exact values it is good to draw the special triangles. So let's begin by drawing them. So we have this triangle as let us say uh, pi by 3 pi by 6 triangle and this one is pi by 4 triangle. So let me write down the values. So this angle is pi by 3, this is pi by 2, that is pi by 6, the sides are 1 2 square root 3. Here we have pi by 4, the sides are square root 2 square root 2 and 2. Now we also need to understand in which quadrant the terminal arm will be so that we can figure out whether the trigonometric ratio is positive or negative, right? So for that we are going to use our rules all are positive in quadrant 1, sine in pos and then tan and cos, right? All silver t cup or cos rule as you wish. Let's begin by sine 5 pi by 3. 5 pi by 3 means this is pi into 3 portions and then 6 portions. So we are kind of here, right? So it is 5 pi by 3. 5 pi by 3 sine, that means it has to be negative, correct? Pi by 3 is the acute angle. So this angle for us is pi by 3, right? So we have to look into pi by 3 triangle sine value will be opposite over hypotenuse. So we get square root 3 over 2 with a negative sign. Negative because this happens to be in quadrant 4. Now let's look into cos of 7 pi by 4. Let's put this negative first. Cos 7 pi by 4. That really means that this pi is divided into 4 portions. Total is 8. So 7 is kind of approximately here, right? So that is 7 pi by 4, right? You are in quadrant 4 where cos is positive and pi by 4 is the acute angle. So looking into that, what do we get? We get cos as square root 2 over 2, correct? So that is the cosine value. Now let us consider the next angle which is cotangent 11 pi by 6. 6 and 6 total becomes 12. We are on the 11th portion. So let us say this is the point. So we are again in quadrant 4. Cotangent is negative. First I am putting negative for this and then negative for my fourth quadrant. 11 pi by 6 means pi by 6 is my acute angle. Now cotangent is reciprocal of tan. So it is adjacent over opposite side. For pi by 6 it should be square root 3 over 1. So we can write square root 3 here, right? So that is the value for each ratio. Perfect. Now we should combine them. Common denominator is 2. We have minus square root 3. We have minus square root 2. And that becomes plus then 2 times square root 3, correct? You can simplify. So we get square root 3 minus square root 2 divided by 2, correct? So the exact value or our answer for this question is square root 3 minus square root 2 over 2. It is important to note that we have used this triangle instead of 1, 1, square root 2 and by that we avoided rationalization. So those of you who use pi by 4 triangle as 1, 1, square root 2 they will write cosine as 1 over square root 2, correct? Then they need to rationalize. So, I will suggest use this triangle. Thank you and all the best.